Hi, and welcome back to Daily Bible Promises with a Twist. If you're wondering what the twist is, just click on the I, and it will lead you to a playlist, and that playlist will explain everything. So today, we're reading from the NIV, and we're going to stick with the NIV today, because I happen to like the way that the NIV explains this. I like the way that the NIV translated this verse. Proverbs 11.25 A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. So let's dismantle something, first of all. Your ability to be a generous person has nothing to do with the amount of money that is in your bank account or the amount of cash that might be in your pocketbook. Generosity is a character trait that comes from your heart. You can be generous in your time. You can be generous in your attitude. You can be generous in using your physical strength to help somebody who does not have as much strength as you you have. You can be generous by displaying patience and tolerance and love and compassion to individuals who perhaps don't deserve those things if you look at their lives on the surface. The second part of that verse is whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. And when I read that today, I thought, immediately thought of two scenarios that took place at a well and two different women thousands of years apart refreshed others through an act of generosity and because of that act not only were they blessed but they blessed many many people as a result the first is rebecca rebecca was at the well watering her camels and she noticed a stranger. She had a choice to make. She could do the hospitable thing. She could go and ask if that stranger would like her to draw some water from the well so his camels could drink. Or she could get her stuff done and scurry off of her way because she's a nice girl and she shouldn't be talking to strangers. Because of Rebecca's one generous act, not only was her life changed, but the lives of countless others were changed as well. Because she married Isaac, because she gave birth to Jacob, Jacob birthed the nation of Israel. Our lives have been transformed forever because of one generous act. The second woman at a well, thousands of years later, happened to be a Samaritan. Jesus is at the well. That woman has a choice. She's been burned in the past by men. She sees Jesus there and she offers him a cup of cold water. In turn, Jesus offers her living water. And he touches her heart so profoundly that she can do nothing but run to the village that she comes from to tell everyone about the marvelous thing that just happened to her. The Samaritan woman had a choice to make because not only was Jesus a man, but he was Jewish and the Jewish people and the Samaritans did not get along. But instead, she took a risk. She did a generous thing. She brought refreshment to the one that would give her living water in return. She stepped out in generosity she brought refreshment, and in return, she got refreshment that would never end. So today, take a risk. Be generous. Bring refreshment to somebody else, and you are going to find refreshment bubbling up from deep inside of you.